whether Donald Trump wins a second term or Joe Biden defeats him in November, there will eventually be a day where Donald Trump is not president and America has to move forward. America needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror and ask itself, how are we going to move forward? What do we want out of this? What do we want to change? And to me, this is one of the positives that could potentially come out of this presidency is it's been a chance for us to really look inward, and I guess you could say outward, and figure out what do we actually want. I call all of this the Trump hangover, and we're going to talk about it today on Catching Up on the Tonic Accord podcast. Hey, what's up? Hello. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me today on the Tonic Accord podcast. I'm trying to stay sane. But all I know is that 2020 has probably been one of the most stressful decades in a long time, and we're only, what, six months into it, so hopefully things can change. But uh, thank you guys for joining me today. I think it's been about two weeks since the last time we did a Catching Up segment. That's mainly my fault. Kind of getting back to the States from Spain was a little chaotic and took some time out of our usual recording schedule. But we are back, and you guys can count on a Catching Up every week going forward. So today I want to talk about the Trump hangover, and it's something I've been trying to articulate for a long time, but I didn't want to put it out too soon, but at the same time I also don't want to put it out too late. And I've been a little bit hesitant about doing this, mainly because of how polarized this country is right now, and how easy to take anything out of context it is. But I think it's something that needs to be said, and this podcast has always tried to bring a central and reasonable voice to all the chaos, and I think something like this does need to be said. So stick with me here. And let's have some fun with this. It's going to be an interesting metaphor for a heavy topic. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of get after it here. So, as I mentioned earlier, 2020 clearly has been a pretty insane year so far. And I think a lot of people at the dinner table, when they're catching up with friends or whatever else, are always saying, damn, 2020 is chaos. What a disastrous year. And so I would actually push back and first off say that I think something bigger than 2020 is the problem. I think when Donald Trump was elected, along with the correlation of Brexit, this was almost like a shock in the system, a glitch in the matrix. And every subsequent event after that has only been connected to this general event in 2016. So let me explain. In my opinion, the world has gotten much worse under Trump, because basically he's taken a wrecking ball in every way possible to a global system that has actually, for the most part, benefited most people. He pulled us out of the Paris Climate Accords, which I would then argue led to problems like the Amazon burning because other countries felt like they were not held accountable, so they allowed things like farming and clear-cutting to happen. Then you had China, which has taken advantage of the West, and this is all while Trump is constantly toilet-tweeting our allies in Europe. He seemed to be friendly and understanding to people that should be met with a fist. He has removed us from almost every remaining Cold War-era treaty mainly with the Soviet Union, now Russia, and other European allies, and at that time, foes. But yet, we have had no other alternatives to any of this. Coronavirus then came, and it was covered up by China, which was a huge flaw. But sadly, the U.S.'s response was also lackluster, and just highlighted the growing issues. Somehow, China still got out of this less scathed than the United States. Now, we have seen protests, which have been mainly peaceful after the killing of George Floyd, And Trump has failed to unite the country, and it seems like he's actually thrown a hand grenade into gasoline to make somewhat this issue worse. Now, both sides are guilty of this, but he's made it worse. And I would argue that none of this would have happened if Hillary was elected. I am no Hillary fan. And I know people may say, Alex, one president can't change everything. But I'd argue it's possible, and we're seeing it. His name is Donald Trump. And in somewhat of a glitch in the status quo... Trump beat Clinton and sent the U.S. and the world down a very different path. This was against all polls, against all odds, and against almost every expert opinion from the right and the left. And I'd argue sometimes you need a wake-up call, even if it's awful, to change and better yourself. And I'd argue that this is what Trump has done. Now, I first want to say that this is not me endorsing Trump. In fact, I never voted for him, and I never will. I'm going to vote for Joe Biden because I think we need a return to normalcy. But now I would argue, for a certain period of time, sometimes normalcy is not what you need. Humans need to be shocked, and you need to learn from your mistakes. 
Now, I'm going to use an analogy to try and better highlight this. Alcohol. I think it's something that most people, I'm saying most people, are connected to, understand, and have probably tried. So the last three and a half years have been a brutal hangover. Sometimes, it's, it, sometimes it takes a rough hangover to realize that you need to drink less. Everyone has had one of these hangovers where you really look back on your previous night and say, what the hell happened? This hangover is infrequent, but when it comes, usually you change some aspect of your life. I feel like there are two types of nights where you go too hard. The ones where you black out and then end up doing the same thing again because there's no recollection of the problems that happened the night before. Maybe you feel a little bad, but usually the cycle repeats. The problem here is that the root of the issue, the root of the hangover, is never addressed. However, there are also the nights out where you somehow mix in some new liquor or take some exotic shot, and it really interferes with your system. And the next thing you know, you're waking up the next morning and feeling like the world is crashing down on you. Then you spend the majority of the day either within walking distance of the toilet or on the couch ready to throw up at any moment. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself at your worst and your body is even rejecting whatever is left in it. It was by bringing all this misery and, well, I guess you could say bile to the surface that you learned it was time to change something in your life. It wasn't pretty, but you knew it must be done. Now... Let's take this metaphor and put it back to politics. Hillary Clinton would have been that night where you drank too much and kept going, but you black out. Yeah, you wake up a bit fuzzy, but you have no idea why, and you just repeat the whole cycle over. This is what would have happened with Hillary, is that we would repress all of our issues. We would repress the status quo, and we'd accept it as normal and continue on. Now, Trump winning the election, and like I said, I did not like that, is like the mixer or different type of alcohol that was thrown into your mouth after a late night of partying. It really messed up your system because it's not used to it. The next day, it brings everything bad and painful out to the surface, and that's what we're seeing right now in the United States. Like the night I described, Trump is this gross alcohol that's added to your night out. Trump doesn't agree with the American system. He seems to be almost contrary to it. America is throwing up all the bad that was built up before that night out. But here's my point. Because without him, I don't think the United States would ever have addressed our issues. We would have never looked in the mirror. He's brought out all the bile and anger and darkness. And now it's out. Now we see it. And maybe that's how you address a problem. The status quo has always allowed us to continue electing someone who allows us then to go on and not resist change, not resist systematic reform. I would argue, and like I said, this is my opinion, but it's something I really believe in, Trump is going to bring out a very crucial and life-changing hangover to an America that has been drinking too much but blacking out every time. We always wake up the next day, feel bad for a few hours, and then keep doing the same thing, all at the same time while asking, why does this system not work for everyone? Now, I'm not saying this will be seamless. In fact, it could be quite ugly, and we're starting to see some parts of that right now. We have a compounding disaster of many problems, such as a global pandemic, racial injustice, the coming recession. But sometimes, a glitch in the matrix is what allows us to step out and fix it. Again, I want to make it clear that this is no endorsement of him. He's one of the most divisive and ill-prepared leaders I've ever seen, and I think history has ever seen. I don't think that America could survive a second term of him. But I do think this four years was crucial. The smokescreen is down. And as Americans, we now will decide if it's time to make some changes. Thank you guys. We're on Podbean, Apple Podcasts iTunes, YouTube, and all those third-party sites. Please let me know what you think. Is this Trump hangover going to help us in the big picture? Or is it the beginning of something worse? Please let me know. You can find us Instagram, Facebook, and have a great day.